Good morning, everyone. My name is Nick Swearingen, and I'm the manager of Fully Promoted of Arbutus. We're a family owned and operated business operating under a corporate franchise. Now, what does that mean? We are part of a franchise structure, but we're independently owned and operated with my mother being the primary owner. We are your branded apparel and promotional product experts, or as I like to say, swag gurus. Some examples of the work that we do include workwear for executives, inside staff, and uniformed employees, spirit wear, sports or team wear, imprinted promo items for office use as well as marketing efforts, trade show and event items, and personal protective equipment or PPE gear. That includes high-vis helmets, high-vis vests, eye masks, or eye eyewear, as well as masks. Overall, think promo items and apparel to help promote your brand identity, support your marketing efforts, and make events more memorable. Our motto that we like to go by is A-R-E, which means attract, retain, and engage. And if any of you would like any of these cute little A-R-E plushies, feel free to email me your address and I'd be more than happy to ship one out to you. For this presentation, I'll be doing an interactive tour of our facility, so please bear with me and buckle up for the journey. See you soon. So the first thing I like to do when we work with a client is get to know them. We like to get to know their work culture, um, get to know a little bit about them, and if they have a uh, brand identity package, that may include things like their logos, their uh, mission statement, core pillars, um, their color palette, and things of that nature. And then we talk about the why. Why are we doing this? Is this an internal branding thing that they're trying to do? Are they trying to uniform employees? Are they trying to raise team morale? Um, are they maybe trying to give out items to their employees to uh, give uh, help with retention? Or is this something external, an external branding thing that they're trying to do? For instance, uh, maybe have polos to present to themselves uh, more professional to the public. Um, or are they trying to give away items for uh, maybe an event that they were attending? Uh, and then we talk about the what. You know, so we always talk about the why and then the what. And then the what being uh, what items may suit best for uh, this event or for this uh, internal or, or external branding thing that they're trying to do. Um, so there's always the why and then the what. Uh, and that's usually how we like to dive into working with a client. Being in the apparel and promo industry, there are millions and millions of items out there. Unfortunately, I can't house them all in my warehouse. So what we have is we have a showroom with bits and pieces of promo and apparel that we can um, generate ideas and, and kind of gather inspiration from. Uh, and then we go from there and execute an idea for uh, a client. So we have some promo out here as well as some apparel over here. Um, and then we talk with clients and kind of refine the idea from there on what, what the actual product would be. My office may look like a mess right now, but there's a good reason for it. One of the uh, big reasons that people love working with me is that I love to do uh, samples, either blank or imprinted spec samples. Uh, and that is the reason why I have so much stuff everywhere is that I am constantly getting spec samples in for clients to see uh, for either size sample runs or to see what a uh, product is going to look like, uh, a finished product will look like before the job is ran uh, to make sure that people are um, extremely satisfied with what they're going to get. Um, the last thing we want is for a client to say, oh, this doesn't fit, or they may see something online, but then when they get it in person, they're like, eh. Uh, so we want expectations to be 100% clear before we complete an order if that's necessary. Okay, so the next step after we figured out who we're trying to attack, attract, retain, and engage and why we're doing it is going over what we're actually putting on whatever item we've chosen, uh, more items. Uh, and then we go back to talking about the brand identity package. It can be something as well-defined as this one that I'll be going over is one of my clients, or um, something as simple as just giving me your logo, your logo, uh, what color you want, um, and maybe if you have any verbiage to add in. It can be something as simple as that. 
Um, so I'll just quickly go over um, this brand identity package. Uh, this uh, includes um, who is this for? It may have a mission statement, core values, um, other pride points. Uh, and then I'm gonna scroll down to the really important part would be the actual brand itself. Um, so this is the logos. If we're going to be a stacked version, a centered version, a horizontal version, uh, left aligned, full color, full color on black backgrounds, full color on white. Um, this is the kind of stuff that we'll be discussing uh, to put on the actual apparel or promo. Uh, and then we'll turn that into a proof, which looks like this. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. People know exactly what they're going to get. And even if they want, they can even get a sample of an item in so they can see exactly what they're getting in their hands before they actually place an order. We try and make things, everything super transparent um, and as straightforward and easy to do as possible. All right, and lastly, we'll go over the meat and beans of the operation, the actual promo and apparel decoration. It's important to note that we don't do any promo decoration in-house. Um, fortunately though, we are under this franchise structure where we work directly with manufacturers and have great relationships with them, where they understand both the quality, the turnaround time, and the pricing that we expect. Um, without further ado though, we can go look at our back warehouse where we do our embroidery in-house. So why don't you guys come on with me? So back here we have a few different things. Uh, in this room we have some heat press. Uh, these would be vinyl options. We have a dark room for screen printing, for imaging screens out. And we'll show you what the uh, end result of those screens look like back here. So over here we have an embroidery machine. Um, I'll show you quickly how uh, this, this process goes. Um, basically you take a hoop stick on a piece of apparel, in this case a polo, make sure you get great alignment on it, bada bing bada bang, stick it on the machine, and hit the start button. We do four pieces of apparel at a time, this machine runs at 750 stitches per minute, it's very fast. Um, when their items are done, they're taken off, cut, and trimmed, and sorted into size, color, and counts. Over here, we have our uh, automatic screen printing machine. Um, this machine has 10 heads, uh, 10, 10 platens. That means we can load 10 pieces of apparel at a time on it uh, with multiple different heads on it. And each head, as we go around, has different colors assigned to it for the design. So each time it goes under a head, it gets a different color that's part of that design. And as we finally get over to the end, we have an end result shirt, completed print. It gets pulled off, put into this conveyor dryer that dries at extremely high temperature um, and fully cures the ink, which also can be used as a pseudo pizza oven. Don't ask me how I know. Um, uh, we also have a manual screen printing machine back that way. And over here, we have our shipping and receiving area. We'll get promo and apparel items in and out every day. And that is a tour of the back warehouse. Uh, a good referral for me uh, would be a company with employee size 20 and up, as well as a revenue of $5 million and up. This is because generally companies of that size and revenue, they have marketing money allotted uh, already, and they generally already have marketing and HR personnel. And those are two different personnel and company that I work well with. Um, another great example of a referral could be a solopreneur who understands the value of marketing, uh, who may want like a more intimate experience, like one-to-one -one with someone like myself, who understands, you know, what they're looking for and can work, you know, with them uh, more than someone like an online vendor may, uh, you know, be limited to working with them. Um, so those are two great referrals for me. A bad referral would be someone who's loyalty is only to the dollar sign. 